Hello viewers, my name is Gifty Ojifu and this is the Truth Way Chapel International. Today I'm here with Prophet Elia Wubwaten who is going to bring you the Word of God of Israel on Andy D Television. You are welcome Prophet. Thank you Sister Gifty, may God bless you. My brethren, may God be just bless you as you are listening to the Word of God from Andy D TV. As Gifty have told you that we are from the Truthful Chapel International. Today we are going to share the word of God with you. And I believe the God of Israel will use his word to deliver you from the hands of your enemies. Let us pray together. The God of Almighty, the merciful God, the one who created heaven and earth, the God of all kingdoms, the God of all powers. Hallelujah. Your name is Yahweh. Hallelujah. Today we thank you and bless you for your protection and your forgiveness. We are here to teach your people, to direct your people on your right path. We stand against any activities of witches and wizards and powers and principalities. Any enemy that will rise up against your way today, may your fire shall come down. Hallelujah. And consume them. Hallelujah. The God of Israel, those who are listening to your word, bless them. Let them possess their possession. Hallelujah. I mean the version that you are prepared this hour. I don't have any power, any strength to teach your people. May the Holy Spirit shall descend upon me. Hallelujah. Just me to direct your people on Hallelujah. the right path. We thank you, we bless you. In the mighty name of Yahuwah, we are praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brethren, as you know, today is a special day that the God of Israel has prepared for you. And I believe that as soon as we finish this message, you will possess your possession and the salvation also will be there for you. Hallelujah. Today, the message that the God of Israel expects you to understand, to know, is very important. This topic called destiny, the destiny of man. What is the meaning of the destiny of man? And how can we define the word a destiny? Today, God will use us to teach you, to let you know the reason why you're on this earth. Hallelujah. You didn't come in this world just like that. You came with something. But today, your eyes will be open so that you will know the reason why you came on this earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us learn something from one of the great man of God that he came on this earth. And he is a prophet of God. And this man of God came on this earth and God gave him a mission. He gave him a power, anointing, so that this man of God I'm talking about will make sure to deliver Israelites from the hands of your enemies. Hallelujah. The man I'm talking about called Samson. We are going to read our Bible to find out the reason why Samson came on this earth. And after that, you have to also know the reason why you also came on this planet. Samson came with something. He came with gift. He came with power. He came on this earth with authority. The same thing you also have to know the reason why you are in this world. Hallelujah. As our sister gives you ready to open her, her Bible to read some of the scriptures for you and me to study something which is so important. Sister Gifty, can you open the Bible to Judges chapter 13, verses 5 for ha us, please? Hallelujah. Judges chapter 13, verses 5. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. The Bible says, at that time, one of the nations called Philistines, which is Gaza, and the Philistines took Israelites as a slave. And the Philistines had authority to do everything against Israelites. And the children of Israel have started crying out to pray and ask their God to help them. Because the Philistines have tormented them. They are fighting against everything that they are doing. 
The Bible said a certain woman whom she met, angel. And when she met angel, the angel spoke to her and revealed a secret to that woman. Now, God knew that the Israelites need help. He knew that Israel want to come out from the hands of their enemies. That's when he prepared a vessel so that he can use to save Israel from the hands of Philistines. Hallelujah. As you are listening to me, ask yourself, why you are on this world? You didn't came in this world to die just like that? You didn't came in this world to buy just cars, build houses? Enjoy yourself, or you came with something. I just want to encourage you for you to be strong and pray and ask God the reason why you are here. Hallelujah. And I believe that the God of Israel will open your eyes, He will tell you the reason why you're on this planet. Now, let us go back to the history of Samson to learn something from uh, Samson. As I told you, destiny of Samson prepared by the God of Almighty. Hallelujah. Samson is a prophet. He is a messenger of God. Hallelujah. And God gave him a sermon. And the sermon that the God of Israel gave to Samson to deliver Israelites from the hands of their enemies. Hallelujah. That is what his destiny. Let us read our Bible. According to Judges chapter 13, verses 1, come down, please. You will become pregnant. The God of Israel sent his angels. And when the angel met a powerful woman, and he started communicate what? To, uh, to that woman, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he tried to open her eyes to understand the reason why God has sent him to her. Hallelujah. You will become pregnant. It's a woman. You will become pregnant. And give birth. And you will give birth. To a son. To a son. And his hair. And his hair. Must never be cut. Must never be cut. For he will be dedicated. And that son will be dedicated. To Yahuwah. To the God of Almighty. As a Nazareth. As a Nazareth. From birth. From birth. He will begin to rescue. Now, that son I'm talking about, there's something inside of him. God didn't send him to come and die just like that or to enjoy himself. But there's something inside of that child. And what inside of him will cause him to deliver Israelites. Hallelujah. From the hands of your enemies. Can you move forward for me, please? He will be he will begin to rescue he Israel. He will begin to rescue Israel from the Philistines. From the Philistines. The woman ran and told her husband. The woman ran and told her husband, hold on. The reason why I'm very, very serious today to let you understand certain things. Everybody whom are born by woman or a man have a destiny. Hallelujah. Now, this is the destiny of Samson. The destiny of Samson to deliver Israel rise from the hands of their enemies. But as soon as, brother, my sister, you came on this planet, Satan also have a plan to fight against your destiny. Don't sit down for devil to swallow your destiny. Don't sit down for devil to remove you from your position. There's a blessing of God is inside of you. Hallelujah. The hands of God is upon you. Hallelujah. You are a messenger of the God of Almighty. Hallelujah. But the one thing you have to know, devil also, devil also have prepared a vessel, a human being like you, so that he can use them to fight against your destiny. The Bible says, something came, Born, and when he was a born, his mother revealed this secret to him. Samson, listen to me. I met angel of God. Some 
10 years ago, the angel revealed your destiny. Hallelujah. The angel told me the reason why you are on this planet. Hallelujah. God has spoke to me. Now listen to me. Your destiny is you are the one whom the God of Israel has prepared to deliver Israel from the hands of their enemies. Hallelujah. Number two, there's an instructions that can guide your strength. There's an instructions that can guide your destiny. Hallelujah. And the, the instruction is don't let a razor to cut or to touch your hair. Don't eat anything that word is unclean. This is the commandment the God of Israel told me to let you know. Hallelujah. When you do this and you follow this commandment and you separate yourself from evil things, to obey the instruction and the commandment of the God of Israel, you will survive. Hallelujah. You will succeed. You will do everything to deliver your people from the hands of your enemies. Because Hallelujah. the Israelites have tormented Samson. The Israelites have tormented Baal, their enemies. But I believe as soon as the God appointed you, he will surely use you to deliver your brothers. So that in future, the, the next generation will read your history and learn something from your history. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The reason why God has spoke to me to let you understand about the destiny of something, because so many men and women in this world, they compare themselves to other people. As soon as someone sees that someone is just uh, up in the restaurant and that person has possessed so many blessings in that work, he wants to compare herself or himself to that person. Say, me also, let me open the restaurant. Maybe what God is going to have for you is not a restaurant. Maybe God has a different view, a different assignment for you. But now, Something has he started pray and ask Yahuwah to strengthen him. Hallelujah. From the 18 years, Samson started feel the strength and power and mountain inside of him. Hallelujah. And God started what? Use him to destroy the Philistines. Hallelujah. Let us learn something from here. As the God of Israel have a verse that he always used to save his people, he always used to teach his people, devil also have a verse who always used to destroy people. Those verses I'm talking about, they are human beings like you and me. You have forgot that the Bible says, our body is a temple of God. There's a two spirit in this world. The spirit of God and the spirit of Satan. These two spirits always use a man before they can work, before they can perform, before they can function. If God wants to do something on this, because of his spirit, he needs body to enter and cause that body to do everything that he wants to do. Now, when you read the Bible, according to Psalms, Psalm 58, verse 3. Some people also born to destroy. As some people came on this earth as a prophet of God, as a king of God, the same thing devil also have a people that he appointed to use to kill, to use to destroy. That as God had sent something to come and deliver Israel rise, from the hands of the enemies, Satan also prepared a vessel that he can use to stop something to deliver Israel. But now, if you're not prayerful, devil will use a human being like you and me and stop you to move forward, to stop you to fulfill your destiny, to stop you to live long. And anything the God of Israel has sent you to do, 
you have to pray every day for that season because only prayers can destroy the worst of them. Hallelujah. Satan knew that God had decided to deliver Israel from the hands of their enemies. And he appointed a great and powerful man of God called Samson. And because of that, they will also prepare someone that he can use to destroy the destiny of Samson. As you are listening to me today, the God of Israel will make sure to fight against anything that who is going to fight against your destiny. Hallelujah. Anything that will rise up against your life, that will rise up against your marriage, that will rise up against your future, I declare that the fire of Yahweh shall consume that thing. Hallelujah. Samson is a very powerful man of God. He is a prophet. The devil prepared a vessel, a human being, that he can use to destroy the destiny of Samson. Don't sit down. Don't let your enemies to destroy your destiny. Don't let a man to discourage you. Don't let a man to dismiss you. Because the power of Yahweh is upon you. Hallelujah. You're born to do something on this earth. Hallelujah. That you are opened up for the people to discourage you. You are opened up for your enemy to stop you to move, to step on the promised land. Don't compare yourself to anybody on this earth. Pray and ask God the reason why you're on this planet. Make sure to focus your vision and your purpose. And I believe the God of Israel will strengthen you so that you will step on your promised land. Hallelujah. Now, Samson has sent back God of Israel. He's a very strong man. He's a very powerful man. Satan feared him. What is the wizards? They knew that this is the great man that God of Israel have chosen. Hallelujah. Spiritual realm, they testify that Samson is very powerful. Hallelujah. We can't destroy him. But before we can destroy him, let us use a man to stop him to deliver Israelites. Now, let us see the agent of devil. As God always send people or send men to come and do his work, devil always send people also come to do what his work. Psalm 58 verse 3, some people born to destroy but some people also born, hallelujah, hallelujah, deliver Israelites from the hands of your enemies to help poor people, to help his nation or her nation. Now, let us see this scripture. Psalm 50. Psalm 58 verses 3, please. Psalm 58 verses 3. This wicked people. Now, those who always stop people to step on their promised land. This. Hold on. Those who always fighting against those whom God Israel have blessed, those whom they are possessed as a witness, as a wizard, some of them, most of them, born to do that. Read that again, please. This wicked people, this wicked people, are born sinners. They are born to be what? Sinners. sinners. Now, something born, to deliver what? Israelites. But somebody also have born by what? Killing, destroy, consume. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there are two people in this world, good people and evil people. If devil want to try to do something, he always what? Use evil people. If God also want to do something, he always used what? A good, good people. people. Now, something have chosen by the God of Israel. Hallelujah. But devil also have prepared someone that he can use to fight against what? Samson. Today, every man that devil have prepared because of your marriage, because of your future, because your destiny, I declare, may the tender of the God of Almighty shall be sent upon that person. Hallelujah. I will move that person from the Hallelujah. If you believe and you trust the God of Israel and you keep on to pray about your destiny, everything that will rise up against your destiny, God will strike that thing. Hallelujah. Now, 
Continue again. Repeat again for me, please. This wicked people. Those who can kill. Those who can destroy. This wicked people. Uh -huh. Are born sinners. They are born sinners. Even from birth. Some people are witches from birth. Some people are what? Uh, thieves from birth. Some people are killers from the birth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan, have, Satan gave them power before they came forth, the, forth, forth from their mother's womb. And I believe that as the God of Israel has sent you on this planet to come and help people, to come and support your nation, to come pray and pray and help people and teach people to receive a salvation. Any vessel that devil have sent because of you, that the fire of God shall consume those enemies. Hallelujah. Go for me, please. Even from birth. Even from birth. They have lied. Those people, they are wicked. From their mother's womb. They are vision to kill. They are vision to destroy great people. They are vision to destroy nations. But now, you have to know that if God has a messenger, the same thing, they will also have what? A messenger. Maintaining a presence at the forefront of a global issue with the desire to help others come to a resolve in personal and business affairs is why Andy D. Legal and Immigration Associate was established. We specialize in overseas British passport applications, bills and temporary admission, deportation and detention cases. The profound pattern in achieving positive results with fragile cases in immigration, nationality, European Union and human rights law, adoption, marriage, divorce, litigation and so on up to date has been broken and that is why our client base continues to expand. We also do representations at the UK border agencies and overseas consulate, human rights law and settlement and leave to remain applications. We have the right keys to unlock any case across the spectrum of law locally in London and across the borders in Ghana where our other branches are established. We are located at 44 Broadway, Stratford, E15 1XH. Our telephone number is 0203-1300-751. Now, let us go back and read Judges chapter 16, verses 4. Hallelujah! See, Satan plan, plan against what? Samson. And he prepared a vessel that he can use to destroy but inside of Samson. Now, Samson started move from the way of God. Samson started disobedient against his God. He refused to obey the instructions, the commandment, the testimony of Yahuwah. And because of that, the door opened for the enemies to torment him. The one thing the God of Israel expects you to know, make sure to follow all the principles of the God of Israel. Hallelujah. If you want to overcome witches and wizards, it's not anything. Just separate yourself from sin. Make sure to walk on the path of the God of Almighty. Hallelujah. Satan did not fear anybody on this earth. He didn't fear your beauty, your structure. Satan didn't fear your cast, your mansions. He feared what inside of you. Hallelujah. And I believe that as soon as you are listening to me today, the God of Israel will make sure to give you more power. Hallelujah. Ability to fight against everything that has rise up against you. Hallelujah. Now let us learn something from the vessel that devil was prepared against you. Samson. Samson. Now, Judges chapter 16, verses 4. Sometime later... Sometimes later, Samson fell in love. This paragraph is very, very important, my brethren. Before you can succeed on this earth, it depends the actual people you work with. Before you can see the glory of Yahuwah, before you can live long, you need 
a special group who have the same vision as you. Hallelujah. To work with. You have to surround yourself with a great people, good people, anointed people. Hallelujah. If you want to marry, don't choose a man or a woman just like that. Pray and ask God because that marriage you are going to take, it can destroy you. It can kill you. It can bless you. It depends the actual man or actual woman God will send into your life. Can you read for me, please? Sometime later. Samson had decided what? Tomorrow. But he had forgotten that the God of Israel had told him that he must walk his commandment and separate himself from any unclean things. When I see the Bible says something is unclean, certain things that the God of Israel have, have rejected. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like abomination or something called abominable. And God did it before God did God did not allow Israelites to marry what? A Gentiles. As soon as you just you marry a, a Gentile, it means you are unclean. Because according to the Bible at that time, if you are not a part of Israel, it means you are what? Unclean. Okay. And uh, Moses brought a commandment of God and started teaching what? The Israelites to separate themselves from any culture which is not what? The culture of God. Hallelujah. Any culture of Gentiles. Hallelujah. And Samson knew this commandment that it's not good for him to marry any foreigner. Samson knew that there's assignment there for every Israel, every Hebrew, to marry his own what? People. Hallelujah. And Samson what? Refused. And he will reject the crown of God. And he tried to choose a woman from a foreign world. Country. country. Let us see what's going to happen. Sometime later. Sometimes later. Samson fell in love. Samson fell in love. With a woman. With a woman. Name. Name. Delilah. Now this is the vessel that the devil had prepared to use against Samson. Samson is the vessel of God. And his mission to deliver Israelites from the hands of their enemies. Delilah. Is the version of devil. Whom devil have prepared to stop something to fulfill his destiny. These two people have agreed to stay together as a couple. They agree to marry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us see. Can you continue for me, please? Sometime later. Sometime later. Samson fell in love with. Samson fell in love with. A woman, a woman named Delilah, named Delilah, who lived in the valley of who Sorek, lived in the valley of Sora. The rulers of the Philistines, the rulers of the Philistines, went to her and said, "Now, because of Samson, have chosen by the God of Israel to be the leader of Israel, to deliver them from the hands of Philistines, the elders of Philistines have tried so many years." Them and their gods have tried spiritually and physically to destroy something. But as soon as they try, they always will fail. fail. As soon as they try, they always will fail. fail. Why? Because the hands of God is upon something. Hallelujah. But now, when the enemies of Samson saw that their own native war sister, their own sister have decided to marry one your enemies. They call her Delilah. The reason why we are here, look at all the elders of Philistines, we are here. This man came here yesterday, we saw him. And that man is very powerful. All our gods have tried so many ways to destroy him. But as soon as they try, they fail. Delilah, this is your nation. This man came from different nation. They are slaves to us. Help us to destroy the destiny of this man. Huh. Man, as I'm talking to you now, 
You think that as soon as you finish prayers, you finish. No. When you finish prayers, when you pray, make sure to be vigilant. Hallelujah. Make sure to choose your friends. Hallelujah. Make sure to choose your wife or your husband. Carefully. Hallelujah. Because if you didn't choose your wife or your friend or your husband carefully, devil can use that woman or man to destroy your life. Huh. Samson didn't know nothing. He didn't know that Delilah had sinned by his enemies. But today, but the God of Israel shall open your eyes. Hallelujah. Any man whom devil has sent into your life to come and destroy your life, to come and kill you, to come and destroy your children, the God of Israel shall open your eyes. Hallelujah. To see that man. Hallelujah. To see what inside of him. Hallelujah. Or what inside of her. Hallelujah. Now, Samson had a mission. And God expects him to fulfill his mission. Hallelujah. Or his destiny. Hallelujah. Can you continue to read for me? And tell Samson. Jilana, help us to destroy this man. And tell this man, Samson. And tell Samson. And tell Samson. To tell you. To tell you. What makes him so strong. Now, the problem that the elders of Philistines had about Samson, they are trying spiritually and physically to destroy him. They are trying so many ways to kill Samson. But as soon as they try, they fail. Hallelujah. Now, they began think, thinking that something inside of this boy. And they told Delilah to entice what Samson to find out what is inside of Samson. Samson. Satan didn't fear your actual. Devil didn't fear how you dress. He didn't fear those things. But he feared what inside of you. Hallelujah. The elders of Philistines fear what inside of Samson. Hallelujah. But today I prophesy in your life. Hallelujah. Something great inside of you. Hallelujah. What inside of you can deliver your nation? Hallelujah. What inside of you? Can destroy the works of your enemies. Hallelujah. What instead of you can direct people to walk on the, path, uh, the one path of God. Hallelujah. But while you are blind, you don't know who you are. While you are blind, sister, you are a special woman that God has appointed. From now going, wake up and pray. Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet. Hallelujah. Pray and ask God the reason why you are in this planet. Hallelujah. And I believe that God is that will help you to review. Everything that is hidden from you. Hallelujah. Continue for me, please. And tie something. And tie something. To tell you what makes him so strong. Now, these people want to find out the reason why something is so strong. You know, everything has the meaning. If something is very powerful, if something always kills his enemies, there's a reason. If this man had prospered, if this woman had so rich, there's a, there's a word, a reason. Hallelujah. Everything that your eyes can see, you have the reason why those things are there. Now, Samson is very powerful. The end of Samson to know what's inside of him, the reason why he's so powerful. That the assignment gave, given by what? The enemies of Samson. Let us go, please. What makes him so strong? What makes him so strong? And how he can be overpowered. And how he can be what? Overpowered. Now, they want to find what inside of him. At the same time, I want to know the reason why he's so strong. After that, as soon as they see what inside of Samson, they can get some, uh, the word, the lesson, whom they can use to destroy Samson. If somebody know your secret, it's very hard for that person to destroy you. Secret is your power. As my time is too short, I just want to conclude, conclude and uh, give you conclusion and let you understand from now going what the God of Israel have given to you. Something is on this and that is fighting against those things. That's why I'm just trying to direct you to come to. Worship with the truth of your interesting. Hallelujah. So that we will help you and pray for you. Hallelujah. So that we will teach you. So that we will just uh, 
put you into deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come and worship with us. Hallelujah. Now, let us see the end of Samson. Control for me, please. What makes him so strong? What makes Samson so strong? And how he can be overpowered. And how he can be overpowered. And tied up securely. And tied up securely. Then each of us. That, Delilah, as soon as you destroy this man, and you destroy his destiny, mm. each of us yes. will give you money. This is a contract. If you destroy this family, we will give you this money. If you can throw a bomb and destroy this nation, we will give you money. But someone has signed contract. Someone has sat with your enemies and they have gave him or her a contract. Go and destroy our sister in America. Go and destroy our brother in America. But anyone who has signed contract against your life, but the fire of God that consumed that person. Hallelujah. Continue for me, please. Then each of us. That each of us. Will give you. Will give you. 1,100 pieces 1, of silver. 1,100 pieces of silver. So Delilah said to Samson. Now, Delilah have got a summit. His mission to kill with her husband. His mission to entice him. His mission to destroy the destiny of Samson. Samson. He, she did it. She destroyed Samson. Why? Because Samson thinks that his enemies are far from him. Samson thinks that his <laughs> enemies are not a part of those who eat with him. <laughs> my sister, my brother, you are blind. Some of the problems in your life is not your mistake. It's not because of your sin. But something is moving in one of you. Something in one of you has rose up against you. But as soon as you begin to pray, the God of Israel will back your prayers and destroy those things. Hallelujah. Now, jump for me, please. To Jump to 30 for me, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then Delilah said. Now Delilah has started God. Her mission. Her mission to destroy Samson because God had gave him a mission. And his also mission to destroy what? Samson. Samson. Now the devil, the children of God, and the children of devil have, are fighting against each other. Samson and Delilah. Let us go please. Then Delilah said. Then Delilah said to Samson. You've been making fun of me. You're making fun of me. And telling me lies. And tell me lies. Now tell me. Now Delilah have passed so many years. Persuaded what? Samson. Because he wants to find what inside of Samson so that he can what? Communicate what? His With enemies. The mm. Because as soon as they, they, they will see the reason why Samson is so powerful, that means that that's the end of Samson. Mm. If someone doesn't know you are secret, it's very hard for them to destroy you. Hallelujah. That's when you have to attempt, you have to shut your mouth. At times, you have to keep your secret, my brother. The reason why you are suffering, you are tormented on this, is not anything. Some, some, some people are one of you whom the devil have saved. But today, may God of Israel shall deliver you from your hands. Hallelujah. Continue for me, please. Now tell me how you can be tied yes. up. Tell me, Samson. Now we can walk. Be tied up securely. Be tied up securely. Samson replied. Samson replied his wife. If you were to weave. Can you jump to seven to become my time? This woman tried, as soon as he tried, Samson what? Diverted what? He, uh, his ways. That he tried to lie to her. Hallelujah. This woman continued to persuade him, push him every day by her ways. Hallelujah. So that Samson will reveal his secret to her. Continue for the place. Finally. Now, Samson has tried so many ways to hide his secret from his wife. But the woman, she still persuaded what? Samson. She still pushed him so that he can reveal that secret. Continue for me, please. Finally. Finally. Samson shared his secret with Samson her. Samson shared his secret to her. My hair has never been Samson cut. Samson opened his mouth. The one whom the God of Israel have mounted. 
the one whom the God of Israel appointed as the leader of Israel. His mission, his destiny to deliver Israelites from the hands of Philistines. But devil had fought against something from his infancy to destroy his destiny. Now, let us learn certain things, certain things here which show importance. And I believe from now going, you are not going to job. Be wise, be vigilant. Hallelujah. Look before you live. Hallelujah. Think before you do. Because devil is everywhere. He's looking for you. He wants to destroy your destiny. Yes. Continue for me, please. He confessed. Something started opening his mouth, said, Dina, today I will make sure to vomit everything inside of me. I'm a different man. I'm so blessed from my mother's womb. Hallelujah. I'm a prophet of God. Hallelujah. I'm in Nazareth. Hallelujah. Delilah, if you don't know the reason I'm so powerful, because of all these things. But the one thing, which is abomination, what inside of me doesn't work to associate with, is when you stretch your hands with scissors and cut my hair. Hmm. That power who make me so strong. That power who always caused me to kill the Philistines. That power who always caused me to divide the mouth of lion. As soon as you cut my hair, that power will leave me. Hmm. Go for me, please. Something confessed. Something confessed. For I was dedicated to Yahuwah. For I was dedicated to Yahuwah. As a Nazareth. As a Nazareth. From birth. From birth. If my head were shaved. Samson is not just a normal man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's not normal. He came with a gift from his mother's womb. Hallelujah. And his destiny to be a leader of Israel. Hallelujah. And deliver them. Hallelujah. You see, so many people have died and left their blessing on the same. Hmm. People have walked east and north and south and west. They want to find the reason why you're on this earth. The one thing I, 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 at times I fear to challenge people whom said it's God who have sent you to do this. As soon as you told me, you tell me that God told me to do this, I have to shut my mouth because I believe that if it's God, that thing, it works. Hallelujah. Do for me, please. If my head were shaved. If my wear, what was shaved. If my head. Uh -huh, my head. Were shaved. Were shaved. My strength. My strength. Would leave me. Behold, behold, please. And I would become. And I would become. As weak as anyone else. As weak as anyone else. Delala realized. Delala realized. He had finally. And he had finally. Told her the truth. Told her the truth. So she sent for the Philistines rulers. So the ends of Samson sent the Philistines. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Delala sent the Philistines. The ends of Samson. Uh -huh. Come back. Come back. One more time. One more time. It's, she it's, said. It's not just only one day they started tormenting her. Yes. They persuaded so many, many times that we are going to destroy this man. We will kill him. If devil eh, refused to get you today, tomorrow if you refuse to play, he will get you. And don't stop playing. The Bible says, play with that season. Go for me, please. Come back one more time. Come back one more time. She said. She said. For he has finally for told he me. has finally told, told me, me uh, his secret. His secret. So the Philistine rulers. So the Philistine rulers. Returned with the money. Returned with the money. In their hands. In their hands. Delilah. Delilah. Laid something. Now, Delilah had finished his job. He took the money. From the ends of Samson. I finished him. I killed my, I destroyed my husband. I, I destroyed my brother. This is an agent. This is the contract. Mm. Today, anyone who has some contact against your business, anyone who has some contact against your children, your marriage, when the angel of God has struck that person. Hallelujah. One minute, please. Delilah lured Samson. Delilah what? Lured Samson uh -huh. to sleep with his head. Go. In her lap. Behind and then, and then she called in a man. As soon as they finish you, now they are going to what? Shave off. 
The man shaved off. The man shaved off. The seven locks of his the hair. The seven locks of his hair. In this way. In this way. She began to bring him she down. She began to bring him down. And his strength. And his strength left him. Now the destiny of Samson left, hmm. departed from him. Then we use a man, my brother. Who is your friend? Sister, who is your husband? Who is going to be your future wife, a future friend, a future husband? But Yahuwah shall protect you from these wicked people so that you fulfill your destiny. Hallelujah! The spirit of Yahuwah left Samson. But you, the spirit of Yahuwah, will be with you forever and ever. Hallelujah! This is the true way, Chapel International. May God of Israel shall bless you. Let me play with you. The God of Israel, we thank you, bless you for the lovely message that you gave to your people. That who have blessed them and solved their problem. Hallelujah. Let them fulfill their destiny. Hallelujah. Let your angel shall descend upon every agent that she or he have some contact against the destiny of your people. Hallelujah. May every word that you have spoken concerning their life shall be fulfilled. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Yahuwah, we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just want to give thanks to God and give thanks to Andy TV and all the engineers. The God of Israel shall bless all of you. It's the gift. May God bless you. Thank you so much, Prophet Elia Boateng. Now, this is the Truthful Chapel International. It can be found at Cannon Town. That is where we worship on every Saturday between 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we meet there to study the Word of God and also to pray intensively between 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And the number you can reach the Truthful Chapel International on 074 Seven four six four seven four eight four. I will take the number again. Zero seven four seven four six four seven four eight four. Thank you very much.